Hey guys, welcome to part 7 of how to make a 7 foot 550 paracord stock whip. In this segment I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the second belly to our stock whip. So I hope you learned something. Here we go. Okay, for the second belly, you guys are going to need to cut two strands at 15 feet, one strand at 11 feet, one strand at 8 feet, one at 6 feet, and one at 3 feet. So do that and uh, strip the cores out right now. Probably hit pause. Once you guys get your cores stripped out, I want you to take your two longest strands, find the middle, and put them towards the left side. So it'd be seven and a half feet because there's two 15s. And then for the next strands, I want you to go the next size down, the next size down, the next size down, and the next size down. And for those ones, this is the, th the three foot one, about four inches offset, as you can see. So it's not the center. We're off by four inches on the ends. So do that. Put them in the vise. Snug it up. Not too tight. Here's what we're going to do now. We're going to take the centers and we're going to move them about two inches down. So it'd be like right here. If I could mark that somehow, but. Anyways, like right to here for me. So what I do is I go like this. Just hold your finger right there where the middle is and grab all of them at once. Right there. Make sure these are tight together up here. And then tighten back down on the vise. Okay, now we're going to start our, uh, our flat braid for our second belly. First what we're going to do is we're going to take it like this. Cross the middle one. It's pointing towards this corner. So we're going to go under and over with the outside one. Now we're pointing towards that corner. We're going to go under, over, and under. That one has three moves on that side. Okay, now we're pointing back to this side. You can see that right here. Strand points to this corner. So you take your top one, we're going to go over, then under, just like that. And we're pointing to that corner. We're going to go under, over, under again. So just like that, I'll show you one more time. Point to that corner. Over, then under. Now 
now we're pointing to this corner. We're going to go under, over, then under. Okay, and that's pretty much the pattern. It's not real complex. Do that for... Okay, I've reached about four inches from the center of the vise to the end of our uh, flat braid. And what's important, remember how we started the two longest ones on this side? We want to end with the two longest ones on that side over here, okay? So, there they are right there, the two longest ones. All right. Now, I'm gonna be using a one, one and one quarter inch dowel rod to go around for the keeper. One of the loops for the keeper. And that looks just about right. It's pretty close to where, where I want it, so as you guys can see, fits around there pretty nice. Okay, now what we're gonna do is keep the three pinched on that side, and we're gonna grab the three pinched over here, all right? So you gotta be real careful here. Right there, there they are. I pinch those two together. That way you keep them separate. All right, uh, three in the back, three up front on this side. Same on that side. Like I said, make sure the two, now you can really see, because they're together. The two longest strands are both on this side, okay? So go around the dowel rod right now. And try to keep these three together in the back and the three together in front. Once you get it around there, you're pretty good to go. What I do is I take the three in the back that we had pinched. Just kind of put them over the top of the vise just like that. And same thing with the... Okay, I've trimmed the extra piece off the top of the leather from the core and find your front easiest way to do that is to see where you dropped you can see we drop one right there aim in that way make sure we keep it straight in line the straighter this is the better the better flow we're gonna have so here's what we're gonna do this is kinda the hard part you gotta kinda hold this against there at the same time Once you usually get it started with a couple strands around it, it holds it pretty well. But push that core against the dowel rod, okay? And then what we're going to do from there is we're going to take from this corner right here in the back. Go around the front. Don't pull. T don't pull hard yet. Okay. And then same thing from that corner in the back, but we have four up front now. So we're gonna go under one, over three. Take the top one in the corner in the back on that side. Under one. Over three. Just like that. And I know you guys are thinking it's pointing to that corner. It's different when we first start this because they're kind of offset right now because the strands being in the back make it opposite for, for whatever reason. And 
now we're on this side and we have four up front so grab the next one in line back there the highest one up in the back under one over three okay now we have five on this side up front you can see grab the next one in line on top we're gonna go under two over three okay now we have one more over here in the back five up front under two over three okay now we have six up front over here and our last strand in the back under three over three okay just like that and now up front since we have everything up front now make sure that you have two strands that are long on that side and two strands that are long on this side which I do that's very important at this stage because if you don't then you have to go back and take it apart and start start again with this okay so now it's kind of tricky to hold that there at this point but now we're going to go to what this says right here because all six strands are up front now it's pointing to that corner which is this one right here the one up front we're going to take that one go around back under three over three now we're pointing to that corner right here and we're on back under three over three just like that you can start kind of snugging them down now okay get everything nice and snug don't pull hard yet because we want to make sure we have a good grip on the uh, core okay point to that corner under three over three Okay, just continue with that, and now we can start pulling the strands pretty pretty snug because we got a good bite on the uh, core. And make sure it's in line. Make sure this is going to be straight down our whip. It may not look too pretty at first, but. Over time, start snugging these down, you start seeing it come together a little better. Plus, we got to roll it out, anyways. Under three, over three. So, continue down. Okay, I forgot to show you guys on this one, but this one coming up right here, that's gonna be a drop strand. We're still pointing to that corner. So we're under three over two on this side. Because all we have is five left. Alright. Now to drop it. Pull tight. Take the top one right here. Since we're switching, we're going to go to under three over two. And then don't grab that one, grab the one right below it. Under three over two.
under three over two. Now we're into our 10 plat. That was a 12 plat because there were six on each side. Now there's five on each side, which makes it a 10 plat. Then our next drop would be we lose one more, so then it'd be under two over two. I'll see you guys down the whip. I'm about a foot into the whip, into the second belly right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of the vise. What we do here is just tee it up. Leave it on the dowel rod, don't take it off that. Okay, just like that. Let's take it out of the vise and turn your vise. So you're gripping the whip instead now. Make sure the make sure it's straight. Okay, and continue <clears throat> down the whip. For you guys new to whip making, when you're plotting the paracord, make sure underneath that you're not twisting the strands. Make sure everything's nice and flat, because if you twist a strand, that's gonna show on the final overlay of the whip. So, when you pull a strand, make sure it's flat. And I'm in 10 flat right now, so it's under three over two. And you know it's flat underneath. Just a tip to keep, uh, keep your eye out for. Damn it, that's stupid at the end. One other thing, once I get about six or eight inches down from the vise, I like to uh, move it up and try to keep it as straight as possible. You're plaiting down the whip. So just like that. Okay, we are dropping a strand right now. We're in the second belly still. This one's run out, as you can see. So we're pointing to that corner. We're not, we're not gonna take this one now. Now there's gonna be four on this side. So let's take this one, like, like it's the top one. Under three over, th uh, under three over two on this side. And then, now we're pointing to that corner. Now it's under two over two on this side. Just completely forget about that one, leave it behind. Okay? Okay, we've, we're down to a four plat, two on each side. I just passed the uh, artificial sinew underneath. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna trim the core again. When we measure the core, it was about four feet first belly. We're going to cut it right now about seven inches from the center of the core to here. Snip that on an angle if you can. Take a lighter and just touch it. Melt it a little bit. Okay. Then continue on. Right over the top of that. All right. Our core, I've actually cut seven inches off. The first belly was four feet total length. I cut seven inches off it. So it ended right there. 
I just cut that off and we're going to continue plating past that. I did melt this a little bit. Okay. So go right over the top of that. And then uh, continue past it for about, I want to say about three inches. Maybe two. Just to create even more of a taper down the cores, or d down the, the belly of this. Create a better taper down the second belly. I said quiet! Anyways, back to the whip here. Um, I went three inches past where we dropped the uh, first belly's, uh, the single strand underneath. I can't, I can't do it. Okay, we've went three three inches past the first belly's core, where we cut it, cleaned and melted it. And this is all hollow underneath, so there's no actual core right here. You see we got about that much left. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our artificial sinew out, and we're going to start about an inch and a half above this. Wrapping it again, just like we did for the other, uh, the other belly. So get that. Give us some more slack here. Okay. Where is the end? That's the hard part. Okay, found it. Just half hitch it. Just like that. And that piece down. Start wrapping. Not too tight, just going around it, holding it together. like that I'll be sure to tell you guys the length where we stop right here in a second okay we went about an inch and a half onto the just the strands by themselves so what we're gonna do now, they're kind of all offset for me. So I'm just gonna snip each one. Starting with the shortest one, right about there, and then two inches down from that one, pick another one, and then two inches down from the other one. Or the last one we just did. There we go. Then we can wrap it all up. So do that. From the last one, I'd wrap it probably about, I'll go about three inches past the last strand that we dropped. Okay, I made my way back to the top. The full part I, I just uh, wrapped with the uh, artificial sinew. Let's take a look how long that is. Uh, about 12 inches. Okay, we're actually gonna go above where we started. Not by too much, just a little bit. Just like the first belly. So, about 10 inches, snip it. Get your six inch piece. And then make the loop just like that. And then, uh, let's see here. We're gonna hand, hand uh, wrap this bear, don't, don't wrap this real tight, just wrap it finger tight. 
Just barely pulling that. That should be pretty good. About eight wraps around it. Put it through the loop at the top, then pull your two strands right here. That's good. Snip it. And there's that. Then we're gonna pull on these drop strands, snip them, and then uh, melt them and press them into the whip. Press them in to, to drop the strand here. Give it a good tug. And then we're gonna snip it. Fluff it up. About an eighth of an inch sticking out. Melt it down, and then press it, just like that. Kind of smear it on there so it doesn't actually burn your finger. And do that for the rest of them. Second belly will be somewhere around uh, five feet to uh, five and two inches, I believe it was. I need you guys to cut it down, cut it back to uh, four eleven. So four foot, 11 inches is what you're gonna have for this, for the second belly. And that's from the top of this uh, loop all the way to the tip of this, okay? You can see our artificial sinew ends right there. Okay, I've rolled the whip for five minutes and uh, take it off the dowel rod. Make sure you guys do this with the belt sander. I'm gonna file it down because to get this loop back on is gonna be pretty impossible if you don't do this. Okay, but to, to roll it, you have to take it off the dowel rod. I'm sorry, but you have to. <laughs> All right, so put it back on the dowel rod. We're gonna go back to the device. Okay, so to slip it right back on the loop. Once it's over that hump there, there we go. So we're back on. Everything's nice and smooth. All rolled out. Like I said, this uh, core piece is, uh, or this second belly is four foot, 11 inches to the top of this, all the way to the tip. Okay.